Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Dana Queen here and today is a very very exciting video for me and hopefully for you too. <laughs> um, I've basically decided to do a little mini series where I, which you can guess by the title, I uh, decided to build Chester Zoo in Planet Zoo. So if you've not already been to Chester Zoo I would highly recommend it. Um, it is an absolutely brilliant zoo. It's it, To me it's not even really like a zoo. You know the animals are so well looked after and, and the place is so clean you can just tell how much love goes into every single day. So basically this video has come around from a friend of mine who works there and told me how much of a crisis that Chester Zoo is in right now as I can imagine many other zoos around the world are too. So zoos are generally non-government funded and they do rely on charity and people basically visiting them and during all this that's going on it you know people can't visit the zoo as as they would usually and you know you have to pre-book your places and you know it, it's just a hard time for everybody and um, you can imagine how much food that these animals do go through and so any little help is needed and the one way that you can do that which I'm, I'm going to put in the link below is their website where you can go on to and um, if you go to their support page you, you can look at that even, even if you were to just give a little bit you, you can adopt an animal you can donate through their just giving link or, or you can become a zoo member you can even send a text with a five pound donation anything absolutely anything just helps them out but on that note let's get into the video so here's just a little bit of a sneak preview as to what it's going to look like at the end. Uh, this was extremely hard looking at pictures, videos, anything that I really could find um, just to give a sort of like idea as to what it exactly looks like. Um, but next part, so 1952 it says on the gate and then on the other side it says 2012. Um, so if you didn't already know, Chester Zoo was actually started by George Mottishead in 1931 and his family. So it's still going strong <laughs> and uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the little series that they did on their life and the zoo life, um, which is called Our Zoo and then also The Secret Life of the Zoo. That is an amazing program. Definitely watch it. But just doing the little flower beds here, um, trying to get that lined up, which is a little bit harder said than done. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just the building here and the roofing going on. I would definitely recommend doing the roofs on the floor and then bring them up onto the building. And here is just like the little Chester Zoo sign, which took me a little bit to figure out because, you know, I'm not the best builder. I'm definitely not a, uh, a master builder Lego reference. <laughs> um, so it just took a little bit of time and I just used the, the wood icon uh, definitely, like I said before, with the roof, build this on the floor and then put it onto the building because it is just the biggest pain in the ass <laughs> to do on the building. Uh, so this is just me figuring it out and then moving on to the little Chester Zoo sign, which is very well known. Um, just using the alphabet that you can find in the art shapes. Um, and yeah, getting that done and just making the shape. You know, these shapes aren't exactly gonna perfectly line up, but you know, it's a game. <laughs> You can only try your best. Alrighty, so that's pretty much complete just that little tiny part just just move that along <laughs> uh, yeah and then here comes the task of actually putting it on the building um, which is pretty difficult it's not as bad as uh, Planet Zoo trying to build buildings in that which is just yeah this is already enough <laughs> 
just leveling that out. Um, if you you can use the little keys there, just to, or you can play, press X when you're on an item, which you'll be able to you'll be able to move the axes. So trying to get this up on the building, um, it took a few tries. <laughs> Just trying to get that all level. Then I realise I don't really like the way that that's poking out. So put it back. Um, sort of change it up a little bit and make it a little bit smaller. Take those little end bits off and, and just put basically square panels. Yeah, here I am again, trying. <laughs> It's so sensitive and just like the slightest click, as you can see so many times, it's just not happening. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's about here that I decide that I don't like how that looks. And then I try and take it off on the building, which is a stupid idea. So take it off and then remove those side bits just put basic panels and I just think that it, it looks so much better just like that just smaller on the building as you can see that looks so much better <laughs> although it doesn't quite level out there which is a little bit annoying I know there's probably a way to sort that but I'm, I'm not that great of a builder So one, one thing I did find out that um, when you are making buildings, I do find it a little bit easier just to lay down the path already. Um, that way when you are building it up, you can try it with little shops here and there um, and just make sure that it lines up with the path because you don't want to be do making a building and then the path not look right inside either. So I'm just trying to decide on what sort of one I should pick. But just just decide to go for the shop fronts make it a little bit easier yes yeah, so I'm just trying it with a shop now and so you can see that it's, it's it's quite a little bit further back I don't want to be in any problem once this is all done that people can't reach the shop fronts so I just have to adjust that building just a little bit same with all these as well Trying to level <laughs> things in this game is is very infuriating. But you know that's that's all the fun of it. Sorry, Mr. Worker. <laughs> so just seeing that gap there, and I'm just trying to fill that. There we go. So same on this side. Uh, oh yeah. It doesn't quite level out and I don't know why that is because I put it to the world axes but it just still doesn't want to completely level out. I think that I just decided to leave that <laughs> as it was. <laughs> so you can see that it's just not leveling out. You know, this is, this is actually my first big build. One thing that I would recommend is definitely having a look at the Steam Workshop because there's so many brilliant designs on there and you can just save them and then they're saved to your blueprints and you can use them in game. I didn't know about that for a very long time, but it's, it, it's so amazing. The things that people can do on this game is just mind blowing, especially on Planet, Planet Zoo. So I just saved that just in, in my blueprints and just basically copy and paste it because I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, so I forgot to film just that second building, but I basically just copied and pasted it and then thought that, well, anyway, in real life, this building is a little bit smaller than the other one. So just trying to uh, level that out. As you can see, that does not want to work. Yep, 
my level. And I'm sorry, but the OCD person inside of me is just like screaming. <laughs> so I have to level that out, even though it's just like the tiniest little detail. Alrighty, so that one is all done. So just see that it's like kind of like on the path. And I did kind of want it like that at first, um, but just decided to kind of like move that back a little bit just so the path can actually go through the center. So picking like a small path just to start off with and then sort of like thickening that out so it goes throughout the whole building. Much better. So I've not actually added shops into these. Um, but as I carry on these series, I will add more shops and sort of decorate these a little bit more inside. Alrighty. Loving that. So the little bronze uh, animals that are out on the front. Um, so just, you can find those um, just, just in construction. Um, and then you can change the colour of them to whichever colour that you want. So um, I thought that it was an elephant, a hippo and a giraffe. Turns out it's not. Uh, it's an elephant, rhino and a giraffe. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to change that. <laughs> so I'm just trying to think, think of like the, the, the building block basically that they can stand on. Alrighty, and then again, this elephant just does not want to level. I think I, I think I do decide to kind of like, oh, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, put that on there, and then I put the, the next one on. Little elephant, and then it just drops down again. Uh, as you can tell, it's, it's a little bit infuriating this game. See that? That goes okay. And then it's not so bad with the giraffe because, you know, obviously, his legs are really tall anyway. So, yeah, this is when I realise. <laughs> Look at the pictures again, I go, hmm, that's not a rhino. <laughs> so just got to edit that. And then I see that that goes on so much better than the elephant does. So place them all, put them in the little correct places. And then the elephant is just bugging me. <laughs> like I say, OCD. And then watch. Goes on fine. Yeah, and then just duplicate that. Alrighty, yeah. So just uh, little bits of uh, plants and flowers and, and all that. I'm one of those people that plays Sims and just absolutely loves doing the garden. <laughs> but I think I've got to say thanks to uh, my grandma and mum for teaching me kind of like how to uh, flower arrange <laughs> in a way which kind of works well in this game. flower there I don't know so yeah added just a little another little fence not that way that way <laughs> a little bit of flowers here Yes, I'm quite enjoying how that's looking. And then I decide, uh, not decide, I look at the pictures and videos of Chester Zoo and they do have a little board. So like I was saying with the uh, Steam Workshop, um, here is where I find a little information board. And I'll put a little in-text thingy as to who the creator of that is, because kudos to you being able to build that. <laughs> yeah, 
as you can see, I just think that that looks so much more amazing. So I'm just trying to think of little animals that will go around just to make this little info stand just look a little bit nicer. And I decide to sort of like hang in off the edge just a little bit. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> hanging off the building and then I wanted to add a lion then realized that that wasn't gonna work so moved over the tarantula sorry tarantula again trying to figure I just gave up on that just whack back the uh, tarantula So I'm trying to think of like, it's just missing a little bit of something. Plants, <laughs> obviously. So I think that that's looking pretty good. Just a little bit of an information board on the bee population. So here I'm getting into uh, building the elephant habitat. Um, so I think that what's absolutely brilliant about Planet Zoo is just you click on Zootopia, which is up at the, up at the top, and it tells you all that you need to know about Indian elephants and all these animals here as well. You know, it tells you what size of groups that they need, um, usually like one male and up to 29 females. You know, it, it just gives you so much more information and little fun facts, which I think are really, really cute. Um, these here, you have to, if you do in career mode, you need to unlock these through the, um, the vets studying and researching. Um, yeah, so little, just seeing there, yeah. So grade, uh, grade two and above, um, sorry, grade four and above. And so I was like, okay, well, this mesh is, is grade four. I don't really want to use that. I think that the red bricks would go so much better. So end up building that. It says that it needs to be over two meters. Um, yeah, I, think, I don't know if it's like a little bit of a bug or whatever, but the times that I have done that, animals have escaped. So I basically double what it says. <laughs> so just building the little little area of water that's there in the in the zoo in uh, the the elephant enclosure at Chester Zoo. Decide on a little bit of a bigger one. So now I'm doing the uh, the elephant house. Um, I couldn't actually find any pictures as to what this looks like on the inside. So if it doesn't look quite right, I am sorry, but it's still an elephant house that people can view the elephants through. You know, just gave my own little bit of a interpretation on. And make sure that your walls are properly lined up, otherwise you're gonna have a problem when you come to putting a roof on. So yeah, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, hmm, people are going to walk up here and, um, yeah, don't think that they're going to be, you know, they'll be squished, basically, because it's, it's the habitat that's closest to the entrance, you know, it's, it's the first place that people are going to go to. Sorry, tree. Um, <laughs> yeah, so just building that a bit further back, just so you can get more people in there, more space. You can see I've not built that wall properly. Yeah, 
yeah so I just wanted to make sure that it was sort of like three whips high which is around about like your your eight meter wide it's an eight meter is it eight meter I'm not too sure <laughs> eight I'm gonna say eight meter wide path sounds like a lot it's a little part for the uh, the zookeepers to get out of So I'm not saying that I'm a good builder, but to be honest with you, I was fairly proud of this as my first cannon one. So roofs, my God, <laughs> they are the bane of my life. Um, definitely make sure that you build them on the floor and then put them onto the roof. So as you can see, it doesn't quite go. It's very infuriating. I'll probably fix it at one point when I when I learn a bit learn a little bit more about roofs. Um but my god <laughs> infuriating So after this, um, so I pop that roof on, obviously that piece isn't level with the others, typical. Um, but after this, I thought that I'd just do a little bit of research um, into buildings, basically. So I stumbled across a uh, YouTuber called Twinkly Tanya Plays, and she's got a really great video on there called Planet Zoo Building Tutorial. And I would highly recommend that. Uh, she gives you loads and loads of like ideas, like the F key um, when you're placing windows. I um, had no idea about that, and I've been playing this for a little while. Um, but just different controls that you can use and, and little tips. Um, absolutely brilliant. I wish I'd watched it before I did this, but you know, it lines up good enough for me. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Um, start of the part where everybody can walk in to the elephant house. And I think I decided here that, you know, in Planet Zoo people complain all the time, no matter how good of a view they've got of an animal, they complain that they've not that, you know, not got that great of a view, which is infuriating. So. I just made sure that that path was going to line up exactly overhanging that habitat, that barrier, just so they would be able to see them. Yeah, so whip 10 metres. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how this is, is measured. But I'm just trying to make sure that that goes all the way to the end. Which obviously didn't want to work properly <laughs> so I'm just taking off the little blocks here like I say roofs either either place them somewhere else and then put them on or wherever they fix to just press X and just raise them because you'll save yourself so much more. So much I grow. <laughs> so just trying to figure this out. As you can see, I wish it was a little bit easier to sort of make buildings because I feel like I would do so many more, but the amount of time that's spent on just trying to level things out and so I think I just decided to leave that one there alrighty so 
just building a little entrance, making things just look a little bit pretty. <laughs> just using the, uh, the construction tools. Just searching for elephants, obviously. It's an elephant house. And then I move on to a part that I'm actually really, really proud of. Proud of. So I start clicking through each one. So Indian elephants are going to be here. And I think I'm more proud that this sort of like equaled out. So all the writing was level with each other, as you can see. Yay! Didn't have to edit any of it. <laughs> so just bringing it on over, uh, turning it with the axes. I'm just going to place that up on the building. So it is a little bit finickety, just trying to get that completely level. But yeah, very happy with that. So let's just uh, let's just add some plants. Some. Yeah, I'm not too sure on whether that would sort of like put the mood down of the animals. Um, because you've got to be exact with what you put inside each habitat. So they've got to have the right trees. They've got to have the, the you know, the right grass, terrain, everything. Shout out to anybody who used to play Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> I was so excited when this came out. Um, I think a little bit of a, uh, a downer was just my older computer would not run this. Uh, so make sure that you've got a pretty good graphics card. Otherwise, you I mean, I, I tried to play it on my last computer and I couldn't even get past the tutorial. So, yeah. Alrighty, just building the path and making sure that people... Well, making sure. Hoping that people don't complain about the view of the elephants. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, that's uh, about it for that, for our first video. Um, second will be coming out in a couple of days, so watch out for that. Uh, make sure you uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that nice, nice little bits. <laughs> um, but yeah, just finishing this off with uh, just a few pillars. But yeah. Just want to say thank you very very much for watching this video um i hope that you watch the others that are coming out in this series i am going to plan to build the whole zoo which is going to take a fair amount of time <laughs> and dedication and um infuriation is that even a word but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching uh, please like comment subscribe um and i hope you all have an absolutely lovely day bye